What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. I know my hair's a mess, but I don't care. Just saying, just saying. Um, this is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Uh, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys uh, want to um, share the channel, feel free to share it. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only takes messages to resonate. Res that resonate. Bye, 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 bye. Free general collective reading, okay? Um, I received a very disturbing download and a, a trigger warning. So if it triggers you, click off. I want to download it so I can get back to bed. And that's just the truth. Because I went to bed real late last night. Real late. I'm having trouble sleeping ever since my kids left. So I want to go back to bed. And that's just the truth. Okay? So the channel message I received was... Um, a masculine energy with heavy sexual um, heavy sexual addictions. I uh, heard it's an adult masculine energy. Um, he is a pedophile. I heard he's a pedophile. He has a history of molestation in the past. I heard he has been molested as a child and he has molested a child. Um, so the cycle... The cycle, you know, the cycle went on and cycle went on and cycle went on, basically. He was molested as a child and he molested a child. So how sick is that? And that's just the truth. That's why us as adults and sane-minded individuals, we need to break the cycle. If you might need to hear that. But he has sex addictions. He's a adult masculine energy. He was molested as a child. He has molested a child. So the cycle hasn't broken. Um, I heard he... Um, he is very sexually attracted to, I heard, his daughter that thinks she is a masculine. Um, he is going to attempt to sodomize her soon. It is about to backfire in his face in a huge way. You plug it in how it resonates. Now, I had a Google definition sodomized because I, I, I think I pulled it in here like a year or two ago. But it's been a while and I'm not into... You know, everybody has fetishes and things like that, but I've been celibate for like three years. So I didn't know what sodomy, I, I couldn't remember what it was. So I'm going to re, um, re Google, re Google definition it. But I heard he's going to try to, he's sexually attracted to his daughter, biological daughter, biological daughter. So he's sexually attracted to his biological daughter. I heard he's going to try to attempt to sodomize her soon, but it's about to backfire on him. And thank God for that. It doesn't sound like it's a good thing. I'll tell you that. Hold on. Sodomy definition. Sodomy, sexual intercourse involving anal or oral copulation. So, anal or oral. He's going to try anal or oral on her. It's his own biological daughter. That's incest. That's mental imbalance. If anybody needs to hear that. I think some of you guys know this masculine energy. Or you're connected to him. Or you should be connected to him in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard it's about to backfire on him, though. So, I hope it does. I truly hope it does. Because that is sick in the head. It's true. I mean, and I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being for real. That is true mental health issues. True. I heard he was molested as a child, and he has molested a child. So, he shouldn't even be around children. And that's just the truth. Like, period, point blank. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. An air sign. And an earth sign. An air sign and an earth sign is getting a huge wake-up call. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo is getting a huge wake-up call. Maybe you know this air sign. Uh, well, I, had, I heard it. I, I didn't hear air sign. I, I heard an air sign and an earth sign is getting a huge wake-up call. Maybe you know this masculine energy is what I'm trying to say, not this air sign. I didn't hear it was an air, air sign masculine. It might be. It might be for some, but air sign and earth sign, maybe you know this masculine energy. Look, we've got door to personal healing and happiness reversed. Yeah, there's no healing there. There's no happiness because it sounds like he's going to try to force his own biological daughter to have anal or oral with him. His own biological daughter. He has a history of sex addictions. He was molested in the past and he is molested. There is no healing. There is no happiness. It's going to backfire on him. I hope she knocks his lights out and calls the police. And I'm just being for real. 
restore the personal healing and happiness reversed. Spirit messages you ever thought this. A neighbor is going to become very significant in this. In helping. A neighbor is going to become. In, in helping the child escape. Oh my God almighty. A neighbor is going to become very significant in helping the child escape. Is what I heard. Cornucopia reversed. Maybe there's money problems here. Or trouble. Ma well, if trouble manifesting for him. Because, you know, cornucopia can be abundance of many things. Love in your heart, giving, giving towards your community, love in your heart, uh, towards person, people, place, or situation, uh, money manifestation, uh, lots of things. There's no love in this man's heart. He's a bitter old man with sex addictions that has been molested in the past and has molested and wants to use his own biological daughter that I heard thinks she is a masculine energy. She's really a femme, but she thinks she's a masculine. So he wants to get around that. He's secretly gay. Oh my God, and he's secretly gay. He's secretly gay. And he wants to use his own biological daughter for oral or anal. That there's no healing in that. There's no man that's that's not correct. I heard his I heard the neighbor, so the neighbor I'm assuming is high vibrational. I heard they're gonna help the child escape from this. So I don't know how the, and the neighbor's going to get involved in this. I don't know if the child's going to run to the neighbor for help or call the neighbor or the neighbor is over when this happens or what have you, what have you. Maybe for some, you are the neighbor that helps. Whoever the neighbor is, it sounds like they're high vibrational. But, oh my God, this is going to create many series of chain events. Many, 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 many. It's going to, the child's going to get help and get saved. There's about to be lots of action here once this occurs, and a guardian ad litem will end up in jail over this. Oh my God Almighty! Whoa, <laughs> this is crazy. So it's gonna. So the neighbor's gonna help. High vibrational neighbor. If you're the neighbor that's gonna help, kudos to you, sir, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. A neighbor's gonna help. Now, how the neighbor gets involved, I'm not sure. Hopefully, the child runs to the neighbor for help. Or calls the neighbor for help, or the neighbor just happens to come over and sees this crap and it helps the child escape. However, that resonates, but kudos to you if you're the neighbor that's going to help. And I heard once this occurs, because it hasn't occurred yet in the universe, um, it's going to create basically a series of chain events to help the child get out of the toxic situation. Um, it's a feminine child that thinks she's a masculine. And, um, it's going, I heard it, and a guardian ad litem is going to end up in jail over this. So a child's attorney is going to end up in jail over this. So you plug it in how it resonates. There's no key to successful outcome here. The garden and the gate. There's no growth. The garden's not growing. It's dying, dying, dying with sex addictions and histories of molestations. And it sounds like a masculine adult that shouldn't have any kind of rights or visitation or privileges around children and i'm just being for real but somehow a guardian ad litem will end up in jail over this so maybe the guardian ad litem had a hand in placing the child with this crazy pedophile masculine pedophile possibly you plug it in how it resonates spirit messages you have for you. this is sick Adjacent possibilities, I heard only one. Number 24 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 24, adjacent possibilities. There's going to be lots of communication here. So this masculine energy is going to end up losing his rights after all this occurs. Not going to play around. There's going to be lots of communication here, and this masculine energy is going to end up losing his rights after all this occurs. So adjacent possibilities is, um, I think, finding placement for the child. If there's, if it's just her, the femme energy that thinks she's a masculine teenager, because her she's a teenager. If it's just her or her and other siblings in the home, placement in a different home. Hopefully, with a, if they have another parent, the loving parent. If there is another parent involved that's not in the home. 
or temporary placement with child protective services until um uh the parent other parent can be located and found possibly or another family member uh, if they don't have another parent can take placement this is crazy this is crazy And a confession at school soon from this teenager to somebody is about to create alarming series of chain events for a position of high authority in the school. They're about to contact somebody very, very, very high up to get the child help and to contact another parent. Okay, and a shocking confession soon in the, in a school. So I'm assuming the femme child that thinks she's masculine in her school um, to somebody in her school is about to get to a position of authority in her school. It's about to alarm the position of authority in her school. Um, she thinks she's a masculine teenager, so his, her school. Um, and the position, you could be the position of authority. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. You could be the position of authority in her school, possibly, but it's going to alarm you, position of authority in your in her school, whatever this shocking confession is that sounds like it's going to get to you. So it sounds like she's probably going to confess this to other teenagers or other people in her school, and somehow it's going to get to you, or maybe she comes visits you and confesses it. I'm not sure. For some, you might be the counselor. For some, you could be a teacher. For some, you could be administration. You plug it in how it resonates, but how that resonates, you're going to take action, and I heard you're going to contact another parent. Uh, so I'm assuming not a parent that's in her home because it's about to alarm you so badly. Um, so adjacent possibilities is the other parent in this aspect. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is, this is alarming. This is alarming. All right, I'm going back to bed. I love you guys. Namaste.